Yo, it's Arcade. How many plugins are there in FL Studio? Well, let's find out. And what better way to find out than to just try and use them all in one song? So that's exactly what we are going to do today. The plugins I'm going to be using are these ones from the plugin picker. And yeah, we are going to go one by one and somehow make a song using all of the plugins. So these are the plugins you use for the channel rack. So let's find out what kind of a song we can make. So I don't think these are all the plugins in FL Studio. There are some hidden ones, but these are the ones I'm going to be using for this video. Also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Let's get started, I guess. I have no idea what kind of song I want to make, but let's go with the plugin number one. So starting with three times oscillator. Great plugin, really simple. Uh, I think we're gonna use this for the bass. So yeah, I'm just trying to create a simple bass. Anyways, let's start with this bass. And we're gonna add another plugin. So audio clip, I guess that's just, uh, you just wanna put a sample in there. So let's not use that one. So next one, Autogun. I have experience with this one. So yeah, Autogun has like unlimited number of presets almost, and they are just sort of random. I don't know. But there is definitely a good chance to get a decent preset, so. Hmm. Okay, so first thing I want to do is just get all the sounds together and then I'm going to sort of decide exactly how the melodies and stuff will go. I have no idea what sounds I'm going to end up with because of the plugins. So yeah, now let's add another plugin, Automation Clip. Also not really a plugin because it's just Automation Clips. We can use it later. Bass Drum. So I guess we can use this for the kick. So this is a kick plugin. Okay, this should work. Uh, what I want to do is do some side chaining already. So I'm going to put all of these on a mixer track and then we're going to have this side chain mixer track right here and I'm going to root these in there and I'm just going to put a low filter on it, another plugin and do our side chain classic smooth, which is a preset I made a while before. If you want to check it out, there is a video link below. <laughs> Now let's add another plugin, which is Beep Map. I have no idea what this is. What? What is, what is this? Yeah. Something like this, and we have like a background sound. Let's add another one. This is gonna take a while. Boo Bass. Okay. Boo Bass is a bass plugin, as the name would suggest. I guess we just layer the other bass I have. So far, so good. <laughs> or not. Also, do you want something for free? Well, check out our sponsor today, which is Skillshare, a platform where you can get good. And you might ask, get good at what? Well, it can be video editing, it can be marketing, or it can be music production. And right now, the first thousand people who click the link below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare premium membership, which means you get access to all of the classes on Skillshare. Now, of course, there are tons of classes for a lot of different skills, you are probably most interested in music production. So as you can see, Skillshare has a lot to offer in the music category. And these classes are made by professionals who really know what they are talking about. So if you really want to learn everything in detail, check out some of these classes. So right now, I would recommend this one by Riley Weller, FL Studio 20 Beginners Course, which teaches you everything in detail about how to use FL Studio. But also right next to it, Intro to Improvisation by Charles Cornell, which teaches you how to improvise and make music on the spot using the piano. Both of these are great, I definitely recommend them. So if you want to get access to not only these two classes, but all the other ones as well, check out the link below and get your one month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Now let's get back to the video. Let's add another sound. So another one is Direct Wave, and this is like a sampler. So we have some strings here. We're gonna have this, this one note playing in the background as well. 
So similar to the beep map. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster, I can tell. Um, okay, next plugin, Dramax. I don't know what this is, probably something with drums. Okay, how does this work? Dance. Okay, so we have some loops here. Okay, what can we do here? Okay, let's do some automation here. Uh, this seems interesting enough. Let's add more sounds. So, drum pad, another drum plugin. So this seems a lot like this part of that plugin. Damn. A lot of stuff here, a lot of hidden stuff that people just don't know about. At least I didn't. Okay, a crash. We can definitely use a crash. So, FL keys now. A piano. Nice. I know this plugin. I think we layer the bass and make some chords here. Okay, we are building up something. Yeah, next plugin, FL Studio Mobile. I don't think I can, can I use it? Okay, um, what? So let's delete the drum here. Take this. I have no idea how to use this, by the way. Wait, what if I just go to piano roll? Maybe something like this. Yeah, why not, you know? We have a melody here. Next plugin, Flex. I love Flex. Wait, can we enable swing? Okay, next plugin, FBC drum. Some hi hats maybe. Like this almost reminds me of Disclosure's drums. Nice, I actually like that. Let's add another one. Fruity Kick, not another drum plugin, damn. I don't want more drums. This is a terrible one too. <laughs> oh, just a click, yeah, we can, we can do that. Next plugin, Fruity Dance, yeah. Okay, next plugin, Drum Synth. How many drum plugins are there? Maybe a shaker. Maybe an unexpected snare here. So next one is Fruity Granulizer. Yeah, we have to load a sample here. Next one is Slicer. So I'm gonna show you a little trick you can do. So you bring a loop in there and then you can sort of change it up as you want. Something like this instead. So yeah, this will be a little shaker. Voltage control. Warning, do not use this plugin if you don't know what it's for. Okay, next one, GMS. This one I, I think has some cool sounds. Okay, I like this one right off the bat. Not sure if that's gonna fit. Okay. We have too many sounds now, so it's like all over the place. So I think we should start making some sort of a melody and arrangement here, because this is unacceptable. Okay, we have something. Let's move to more plugins. There are so many. How am I gonna do this? Harmless, okay. <laughs> We could do like a deep house lead here. Okay, I like this. <laughs> wow, this is crazy, this is crazy video. Yeah, but I like the results so far, but there are so many more plugins that can just ruin it because we're gonna have to use these. Okay, so Harmer, which is a good plugin. Let's go with that. Okay, could we do just a long hit? 
Can we do a slide note? I think a club would be nice actually. So mini synth is the next one usable. Could we use an effect like this maybe? Okay, I think that's it. Okay, we use the mini synth in a mini way and that's that. So next sound is morphine. So far our CPU is looking decent, so that's good news. What is this one? Okay, I like that. Uh, let's add yet another plugin. So Ogun is the next one. Wow, a nice piper. Aliens are coming. Let's try a different sound here. Okay, I like this one. Okay, this is so many plugins. So another one is plucked. And this is a, like a plug, I guess. Okay, let's create like a stuttering sound with this one. Okay, I somehow accidentally did that, but I want that. Okay, that's good. Now, what I'm gonna do with this one is automate the pitch 12 range and just automate it. And it's gonna go up like so. Let's do that. Let's add another plugin, which is poison. <laughs> Damn, so many plugins. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I don't know what I want to add to this song anymore, you know? Yeah, this little sound. Okay, next plugin. Okay, Sakura, I know that's a cool plugin. I actually need some effects, so I'm gonna use Sakura for effects. So next uh, plugin, Sampler, that's just for audio clips. So I'm gonna use Sower, and it looks like an old school plugin here. Maybe some chords with this. So next one is SimSynth. A whistle. Yeah, I'm just gonna slap this sound in there. And that's my decision, okay? Next plugin, please. Citrus it is. We actually need some effects. So do we have effects in here? <laughs> this is like a weird part of the song. I like that. Okay, we have that. Now, next plugin is Toxic Biohazard. Let's go to effects, because I really don't know what else to add. Okay, we have this sound. Look at all these plugins. Next one is transistor bass. What? Okay, this. I 
I just love how this song is getting just worse and worse at this point because we have way too many sounds. We gotta continue and finish this off. Color mapper, not really a plugin. Key mapper, not really a plugin. Okay, I don't think those are plugins that make sounds. So I think we are done. So our transistor base was our last one. And that concludes all of the plugins in FL Studio. Well, sort of, you know, all of the plugins that make sounds. Let's arrange this finally and preview the finished result. And we have 35 patterns, which means we probably use like 35 different plugins. I'm not sure if that calculation is correct. Uh, so let's color it. And there we have it. A song made using each FL Studio plugin. Let's have a listen. guys it was definitely an interesting experiment for me it took a while to get the song ready and i think it's pretty decent and of course some parts are just straight up weird anyways make sure to check out skillshare link below and get your one month free trial and other than that thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye